Welcome to Core Philosophy. I'm Jen Landells. Today we're going to go over an exercise called arabesque on the reformer. Um, it is an intermediate exercise. It's kind of a progression from elephant. So in this one, you're going to take yourself from two feet to one feet. So you're watching to make sure that your body is still feeling like you have both feet down, even though one foot is actually going to come up. And um, in the balanced body method, your hips are rotated to get that leg up and behind you. It doesn't necessarily matter how high your leg is behind you. What matters is that you're in the correct position and that you're really working from your center and finding a good connection for the exercise. So come on up. I'm going to give you a couple of uh, variations on this one. Um, I'm using a red and a blue. Holding on to the bar. Come up, hand, foot, hand, foot. You're going to find your... Um, Elephant position first, so you're in flat back. Go ahead and grip the bar. Make sure you're nice and centered here, so you're centered over your feet. Carriage is all the way closed. So for this one, you're actually going to be in your high half toe and hips over your heels. So normally you'd be pressing back and pulling in, thinking about pulling those abs in to bring the carriage in, finding your nice long line, working from your mid back to keep you stable. I tend to find it can stay a little bit more in alignment. I find a better connection if I bring my feet a little bit forward and, and come to flat foot. So that's what I'm, what I'm gonna do to show you today. But try it both ways and see which feels best for you. All right, so from here, you're gonna pretend like both feet are still down. You're gonna take one leg back up and behind you and notice what happens here. Your whole body's gonna wanna turn. You wanna keep your shoulders as square as you can, keep pressing into both hands and pretend that both feet are, actually, are still down, even though this one's up. All right, so from here, you're gonna press the carriage back, lower both legs, or lower that top leg down to meet the bottom leg. So both legs are pushing out like scissors, and they're gonna pull back in. So nothing is actually changing in your upper body. You wanna keep that good scap connection, working under your armpits, lots of hamstring, and it abs as you pull back in. So I'm a little bit away from the foot bar. You're gonna be right up against the foot bar. You can also bring your, sh um, your foot bar higher. If you have a balanced body machine where it comes closer to you, that's an option as well, depending on your height and your flexibility. Your bottom knee or your standing knee can stay a little bit bent as well. I'm gonna show you the other leg. Reaching up and back, press away, pull in. So you're staying square, keeping weight over both hands. And this top leg is turned out as you're pressing back. Shoulders stay square. Okay, so coming back in, coming to high half toe. Take my foot bars all the way up. Yep. Same thing here. Press away, pull it in. I'm going to try to close the carriage in if you can. Lifting that back leg up. Come on in and come down. Okay, so what you're watching for in this one, be careful that they're not um, too far back on their wrists. Keep their wrists nice and long so they have good support and they're um, stable from their wrists, through their elbows, through their mid-back. All of that stability is coming from the connection at their mid-back, so all those scap stabilizers. You're rotated in your hips, but those um, deep rotators in your glutes are helping you lift that leg back up and you're working to stay evenly over both legs. If you're too far over, you have the chance of losing your balance and tipping off of your carriage, which you don't want. Okay, I think that's it. Let me know if you have any questions and also let me know what other exercises you wanna see. Leave them in the comments or send me a direct message. And then also remember that we have classes and um, the group coaching option at Core Philosophy. So if you're interested in that and you want a little bit extra one-on-one, -on -one, you want some classes, you want some, a place to ask questions, and um, even an option for doing a one-on-one -on -one with me every month to just dive into whatever you need on your journey through your first few years of teaching, that is what I'm here for. I love working with you guys, and I'm so glad you're here, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.